Hi guys, welcome to this video. I'm Anna from Anna's Drawing Channel. Today I'm going to be showing you several tips on how to make your sketchbook interesting, fun, creative, and your sketches, blocking your sketches, and things like that. So if you want to see your sketchbook improve and make your sketchbook exciting and interesting, stay tuned and this is my sketchbook right here. So I'll be showing you some examples in today's video so stay tuned and thank you for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah see you in a bit Hi guys, welcome to this video. Uh, I am Anna, and today is going to be something a little interesting, I hope. I'm going to share you some tips of how I make my sketchbook interesting and fun to look at. And um, I do have a sketchbook that's a little messy right now that I'm currently working in because it's kind of messy and a little bit clean at the same time. So I'm going to share you some tips to how to make your sketchbook more exciting and more fun. Not saying that your sketchbooks aren't fun to look at now, but to be more sketchbook tips, friendly. Um, and then, anyways, my first tip and to make, I have my notes right here, so if you see a paper on the side, uh, that's my notes. Um, this is going to be a talking video, so if you don't like talking or something, skip out on this. Uh, but I just want to share you my tips and how I came to these tips uh, with my sketchbook. And also, this seems to be my favorite sketchbook I've done so far that I've liked. Um, so I'm going to focus a lot of color or pen, as you see here. So, my first tip. See how this sketch overlaps, um, or goes to the next spread, like it's overlapping here. I'm not sure if I'm doing a good job explaining, but that's the term I came up with for that. So it just makes things interesting, and I actually heard about that in a share class, so I'll find, I wonder if I could do that in my own sketchbook, and then I made it interesting by having the pages and themes or something like that to make it kind of like an art journal, but not really. Um, kind of like an, I guess an art journal junior or something? I don't know. But I was just thinking that would be interesting. Um, and the next tip I have is to block in your sketches, like I did here, and I just put sketches down here. Uh, I used the marker, kind of like a really messy way, and I also brought some faces. So I just blocked in and made it interesting here. So you could do a lot to block in your sketches. You could use watercolor, highlighter, uh, marker. I think, actually, I think I used highlighter here. I'm not sure, I don't remember. But, um, yeah, so that's one tip that I have. I'm not going to show you the whole entire sketchbook. That might be an entire different video, um, per se, because there's a lot more work in here. Um, so this one I was pressing oranges. And another tip is to do um, contour drawings, uh, time, or one line drawings, like, I guess they're called that. And I just did one line, not to get the pen. And then right over here, another tip is to add your other drawings in here. Like tape it in. I didn't use washi tape, I just used finger tape. But I like that, uh, and then I used the watercolor flash technique I taught myself, so I was, um, this is kind of, I guess, really badly drawn oranges as I'm practicing them. So, yeah. Sorry I'm talking fast, um, <laughs> and then I just wanted to show you quickly how the overlapping is done to the next page, and how it just makes three pages together. 
And then I also take different elements from different pages to make it a, like a cohesive look, I guess you could say. Now there's another tip. You can make catches bigger, smaller. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but you can sketch more than one thing on a page. So that's what I've also been learning. So that's another tip. And then my favorite tip, to say the best for us, is to just lay, I mean, it's um, kind of messy looking, like I think I was going for that here, is to lay watercolor down first, and then sketch over in pen. So here I was just basically showing different ways of how I like to draw bunnies, or rabbits or something, and I was teaching myself this, so I was pressing the shapes and pen, and um, yeah, so I usually lay watercolor first, and then I go in with a pen. So that's how I would do that. And, uh, and this is how the finished illustration was going to be. And I was planning another tip, I guess tip six, um, is how I plan my drawing to be like that. So, and I usually do it in watercolor, so yeah, those are just a few tips of mine. Um, I'll count my sticky notes here to show you how many tips that was. Uh, I think that was one, two, three, four, five, around six tips. So I'll put that in the video title. Um, so of how to make my sketchbook interesting and exciting. And I had a lot of fun working in this sketchbook. Uh, my sketchbook is actually, uh, Looks, I I wish I had the label for this, but I think it's my artist law. <clears throat> my artist law. So yeah, um, I wish I had this sticking up for this. It's been such a while since I it's been like I, in the month of April I finished this. So yeah, sorry for my voice got cracky there, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed my stick tip uh, video. That is five round five or six tips. So it's just a talking video, not like a real time talk. So, and I hope, and I might do more of these in this kind of format. Maybe some music thrown in there, depending how loud my voice gets during the music. Um, so, yeah, I hope you found this interesting. And if you like what you see here, I might do more sketchbook videos like this. Um, maybe demonstrations on how to fill your sketchbook page. I know I already have one video about that. So, yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like, comment. I love getting your guys' comments. And I love seeing new subscribers. So if you're new, welcome to the channel. I am Anna with Anna's Drawing Channel. Um, I do all kinds of art. I like to dabble in different areas of art, not just stick to one thing. I like to experiment with other things like you see in here. So yeah, if you like what you see here, I mostly do feet paint on this channel and just videos like this. If you like to what you see here, uh, hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. Anyway, thank you for watching. Bye!